Okay, so this week you are going to go explore YouTube and then in Excel use the data that you've been collecting so far this semester on your steps or heart rate, whichever one you chose to do. So the first thing we're going to look at is YouTube. And we always use YouTube. We go in there for funny videos, ordinary things, TV, sitcoms, sports. But there is so much more to YouTube. And so what I want you to do is start to look at things that you would not normally look at. And so what I want you to do is go explore. So you'll start with the home page um, on YouTube, kind of look around. Uh, look what they have for you on the front page of YouTube. And then in the search category, go type in something. So here I have typed in exercise science. So there's lots of different things that you can find in exercise science. Um, here is one from the University of uh, Colorado at Boulder on principles of exercise science. Uh, that's 8 minutes and 33 seconds. Major decisions in exercise science. What is it? Somebody's thesis or portfolio capstone. Eating habits. Improving lives in the career. So all kinds of different things within exercise science. So typing in, uh, we could do exercise science courses. Even what can I do with exercise science? Uh, but one of my favorite things is on ESPN Sport Science. I love this channel um, in YouTube that it goes in, uses science and sport. So as you can see, all kinds of things, you know, the science of what makes Steph Curry so good. Not that just that he is good, but the science behind it, the wow. The, the how of it. Here's one with Drew Brees and throwing. Muscle work rate. How does soccer affect the human body? And the list goes on and on with this sports science. It does not have to be anything with exercise science or sports science. We could do physical therapy. So all kinds of different things for physical therapy. And let's just go look down at the physical therapy, the series. And so what I want you to do with um, YouTube is go and explore. And you will need to find somewhere around 10 minutes. Um, it can be a little bit less or a little bit more. So if I went in the 10 exercises um, and tips for knee pain relief, this one is 12 minutes and 43 seconds. So that's the one that I will put up in the discussion board with the link and kind of describe it. Um, if it is another one, if you did this one on the shoulder, it is only 2 minutes and 44 seconds. So you might need to combine two or three of them. Um, same thing here with this 5 minute and 32 second. I would need to add another one. And so you want it to total as close to 10 minutes as you can. You'll put that link in the discussion board, so it may be several links um, with the title of what it is, and then a br little brief description about what the video involves. And then you will go and uh, look at two other people's videos to see what did they find out there on YouTube. 
And so the next thing you're going to do, we are going to go and use your Excel in either your heart rate or your heart rate or your steps, whichever one you chose to do. And so here's an example of my steps. And granted, it is an older one, but these are, these are what I have. And what you're going to do is come down. Um, there is a direction sheet on how to find the sum, average, standard deviation, minimum score, and maximum score. So you have directions on how to find that out. So I'm going to do a quick look. Uh, my data starts at 1B. And so for the sum, looking at my directions sheet, sum B1 to B49. And as you can see that it is all shaded there, the, all the numbers that I will sum up. So that is the total number of steps that I took um, from the beginning date to the bottom date. And I'm going to do this continuing on with the average, the standard deviation, the minimum, and maximum. Then also what I want you to do after you do that is go look in the formulas. Uh, that you've already kind of explored Excel with. And there's all kinds of different things. Here's some math and trig. So all kinds of shortcuts that you could use for data. More functions, all kinds of different statistical functionings so that you wouldn't have to go in and type equal, sum, and your numbers. So kind of go and explore that as well. So then the next thing you're going to do after you go and explore that is you're going to work on graphs and charts. And this will go in your at the very bottom. So I would put this here. So what I am going to do is highlight the dates and my steps. I can do recommended charts. And so it'll show you dif different recommended charts or all charts. And I think you need to do five. You will need to go look in the directions, but I can do different line charts, pie charts, bar, area, a scatter. And it goes on. So go and figure out five different ones that you may want to, to do. And I'm just going to go up here to the bar chart. And so that's the one that I'm going to click. Yes, we're going to do that. Then you can look up here and you can change all kinds of different things with it. I can come over here. I can change the color scheme. What colors do I want? So pick one that looks good to you. And I'm just going to come back to blue since we are the rail splitters. And we are blue and gray. Then I'm going to post this chart here. I'm going to come down, highlight again and do another chart and put it underneath or a graph. And then if I, when I upload this, if I upload this into or change it into a PDF, I want to make sure that the lines don't get cut. So I'm not going to print, but I'm just going to come in and print. And right now it looks like my chart is not cut off, which would be good as I turned it into a PDF. 
And you can see by this line, I want to make sure that my chart stays within that line. So I can bring it out a little bit. If I did this, then as you can tell, it will part of this will be cut off. So I'd need to make sure that it is not cut off and do that with all my other charts and graphs underneath. And then I'd go in and I could save it as a PDF. So then I could upload it with all of my steps, my sums, my average. Um, it does not matter here if your data is cut off because it just continues on to the next page. You just don't want to make sure that your chart is like this. This is a thing not to do because you can tell the page would cut it off right there. And I'll go ahead and just kind of show you. If I saved it as, where's my PDF? A PDF. Save. And, oh, it just saved my graph. Hold on, sorry. 